where does gold come from? While it's hard to believe, the gold jewelry we wear every day comes from the stars, and the science behind how it's created is pretty magical. All of the gold deposited on our planet was created during stellar explosions and asteroidal collisions, and it, through time, found its ways to Earth. Gold is one of the most expensive precious metals and the rarest natural minerals today. It is also one of the 118 elements humans have found and categorized. Bright warm yellow, pliable and soft describe pure gold, because it is so delicate it can be worn daily in its most natural state. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe to it, and don't forget to press the bell icon. We'll tell you about a few methods of making gold into jewelry. Stay with us. How is gold formed? There are two main hypotheses on the formation of gold, both of which involves stars. One is the nuclear fusion that follows from the explosions of supernova stars, which produces gold atoms, and the other is the collision of neutron stars, which has a gamma ray burst, one of the most intense explosions possible. Using gravitational wave detectors, heavier elements including gold were discovered in August 2017 during the initial observation of the collision of two neutron stars. The presence of nuclear energy, which is necessary to turn lighter atoms into heavier ones, is what these two occurrences have in common. Where is gold found? In its native state, it can be found deep within the Earth's layers, which are moved by earthquakes, molten lava eruptions, and water. Gold has been discovered in rocks dating back as far as 4.5 billion years. The Witwaters Rand, one of the world's richest gold mining regions, is situated in a southern African crater with a 300 km radius that is considered to have been created by a meteor that hit more than 2 billion years ago. This hypothesis supports the notion that asteroids carried gold from the cosmos to Earth. Further evidence that a significant amount of the Earth's mineable gold was supplied by asteroids that impacted the surface is that the metal is present in higher concentrations in the crust than scientists had initially predicted. Our waters also contain gold. Between 10 and 20 million tons of gold are dispersed in water at a tiny concentration level throughout the Earth's seas and oceans. It can also be produced synthetically, but doing so needs nuclear processes, which are extremely expensive and make it impractical to create and sell for its current uses. According to estimations, approximately 152,000 metric tons of gold have been mined throughout human history. Although it seems like a lot, there are only roughly 60 trailers worth of this material. According to experts, there is still 8 times as much as gold in and beneath the oceans than ever been extracted from the Earth's surface. Most of this supply of the precious metal is either unreachable or prohibitively expensive to mine, similar to the gold that is presumably floating in the Earth's molten core. It's interesting to note that except in Antarctica, gold has been found on every continent. Of course, it's possible that there is some gold even under all the ice on that continent. How is gold processed? After the gold has been discovered and extracted from its source, whether it was a true gold mine or not, it must be processed before it can be used to make gold jewelry. There are several ways to extract gold from ore. These involve cyanidation and amalgamation. The most common method of extracting gold includes oxidizing and dissolving it in alkaline cyanide, then separating the gold solution from the particles. The next step is refinement, which entails either melting the material and treating it with gas chlorine or electrolyzing it to remove all impurities. Then it is put through a purity test, with 99.9% .9 purity as the standard. After being treated and purified, gold is prepared for use in whatever product it was originally mined for, whether that be electronics, dentistry, aerospace, or any of the other various services of gold. However, treated gold possesses several characteristics, such as malleability, rich color, and radiance, that make it particularly ideal for jewelry. White gold frequently used to make engagement rings is formed of pure yellow gold mixed with alloy metals that have a silvery white color, such as palladium and silver. In addition, it is covered in rhodium, a precious metal that belongs to the same family of metals as platinum. This coating makes the metal the perfect material to coat. It protects an engagement ring, wedding band, and other fine jewelry because it offers additional strength, durability, and most significantly, a lovely white surface sheen. What are your views on it? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.